Vehicle 9. Before we begin, there are a few things to note about today's launch. Today's webcast is delayed about four hours after the actual launch. If you're watching this live, the launch has already happened. I'm actually speaking to you the night before as I prep the rocket, which is right here. All of this is done because I have neither the equipment nor the crew to stream on site while it happens. I can get much higher quality out of coming home, reviewing the footage, and putting it together in this format. This type of coverage allows for much higher video quality and stream quality at only a small cost of time. Now let's get into what's actually going to happen today. Echo TV-9 is an actively stabilized model rocket. A small flight computer on board detects the rocket's orientation and then sends commands down to a gimbaled motor mount in the bottom of the rocket. This is called thrust vectoring and is used in many space launch vehicles. The Echo series of rockets are designed to land propulsively, much like the SpaceX Falcon 9 or the Blue Origin New Shepard rockets. The series is still in the testing campaign, hence the TV after Echo, and has not attempted propulsive landing yet. Today's test will focus on a crucial feature required to land this way, drag fins. Mounted at the top of the rocket are four fins. They're designed to pop out right at the peak of the rocket's flight, right at apogee. As the rocket falls, the fins keep the rocket passively stable by shifting the center of pressure to the top of the rocket. This drag fin system has not been tested in flight yet, and may not work which is why today's test is also using parachutes. As the rocket falls, it will deploy its parachutes at the very last minute to ensure a soft landing on the ground. All of these systems are experimental and subject to failure. The launch may proceed as expected, returning nominal results from the drag fin test, and land softly on the ground. The rocket may also go up, shut down mid-flight, and slam to the ground. 
Both of these things have happened before, and that's the nature of experimental testing. We'll tune in in around T minus two minutes to see how things go. Things did not go so well for our Echo rocket today. Uh, after lifting off and slamming into the launch tower, the rocket spun out of control and went back down to the ground. It's a little hard not to be disappointed by this, but there's plenty of reason to still be excited about today's launch, and even the results. Here's the Echo rocket here, and in this compartment is the flight computer. The flight computer logs everything that happens during the flight. This means that every reading from the sensor, every bit of data that was processed on the flight, and every command that the computer sent to the gimbaling mount here was recorded. While we don't know what actually caused this anomaly today, we do know a few things. The rocket went through the startup sequence normally, executing all of its commands and checking all the sensors on board. The PID algorithm used to keep the rocket upright was responsive, even during the wiggly part of the flight. The rocket sustained only minimal damage when it hit the ground. It only fell from probably about 30 feet. The launch pad actually sustained a surprising amount of damage, and we'll need to fix that. And lastly, the fifth thing that I can tell you is that today's launch was not a failure, just a step in the wrong direction. I'm going to continue the investigation, and when we know what went wrong, we'll fix it. If you'd like to follow the investigation, you can follow me on Twitter, at Joe Barnard, 
or you can visit the Barnard Propulsion Systems website, www.bps.space. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next launch.